Ready for school tomorrow? <laughs> channel. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but I'm going to be doing the video this week not tiny because this is actually still my channel. I own at least 50% of it. So I've been back to work for a whole one week and I thought it'd be good to show you guys this week how we stay organized as a family now that both of us are working. It can get really crazy with a baby and two dogs. So in order for me to think as little as possible, I have to make sure everything is organized so that when I get home and I'm really tired, I pack all the right stuff for Tiny the next day when he goes to daycare. Here's a tour of our family command center. So I'm actually in front of the main portion of our command center right now. This has our calendar, the morning and evening schedule for Mike and me, um, what we have to do for the dogs, what we have to do for the baby, seats and coupons, important papers, and my favorite part, it has all of our backpacks so we're not looking for stuff in the morning when we need to get out the door. So this calendar and this schedule, is they're actually just picture frames I got at Hobby Lobby, and what I did was I printed out a 12 by 12 calendar, blank calendar template, and every month I write in the month, and I put in the days, and each of us is a color. It's basically our calendar, and I draw little pictures because it's October, so, you know, little drawings from Halloween. And then next month, I'll just wipe it clean, and I'll have the calendar for November. I thought it was cool because I wanted it to kind of match the theme, which I had, um, everything is black and white and gold, and I wanted something I could kind of customize, so this I made up in PowerPoint. It's really easy to do, like change the slide to 12 by 12, and I put a couple pictures of us in here, um, you know, stuff about adventure, because that's pretty much the theme of our lives, and that's how I personalized it. I haven't done that for this yet, but it is on list to go next. So for a closer look, I basically have our schedule. This is the morning, this is the evening, and then these are the tasks that I have to do, and these are the tasks that Mike has to do. And each of the colors um, represents, you know, who those things are for. So uh, obviously purple and blue are me and Mike, and then green is for Tiny, um, and then pink and orange are for Phoenix and Falcon which all of a sudden they seem a lot less high maintenance now that Tiny's around. So this next section over here is all the like random paper that we would have in the kitchen or in the foyer and just I was tired of seeing it everywhere. So I got this like file, hanging file thingy from Hobby Lobby also and then I bought these file folders from Amazon. They're not the super fancy expensive uh, designer ones but I'll put the link to all of these in the description box below. And then I just wrote out, you know, like on labels, receipts and coupons, and I actually, very proud of this, attach these to here with black pipe cleaner because I am so crafty. And then I got this, I found this little mountain drawing thingy at Hobby Lobby also, and I thought it was perfect because it kind of matches a lot of other mountainy things in our house. The other cool thing about this area is that we put our temperature measure thingy over here so I can decide also like when I'm leaving in the morning like what kind of jacket I should bring if I need an umbrella and it also has the time which is important because we don't want to be late for anything okay so here's the backpack section we I think we got this at Home Depot and here's Mike's backpack for tomorrow Tiny's and mine and so we just grab it and go in the morning when we are rushing out the door I make sure to pack Tiny's backpack the night before because Mike is actually the one that takes him to daycare so I don't have to really do anything the next morning besides pack his milk. Okay now I'm in the second portion of our command center and most of this has to do with Tiny. This is his daycare calendar for the month and then here is my favorite part. I take an inventory of everything he has at daycare and then figure out what the replenishment need is and so I know exactly what to pack for the next day. It gets kind of complicated because he does use cloth diapers at daycare, so I have to kind of match up how many cloth diapers I send with him and figure out when I wash them throughout the week. So it is like 
a nice little supply chain. So here's like a closer look of his inventory. I figured out what total he would need of everything, especially the diaper stuff, so his like soaker pads and his shells. This is the total here, and then when I pick him up at the end of the day, I count how many of each item he still has. Not really the shirts and the stuff, but like the diaper shells and the liners. Then I put that there. So I'll erase these and I'll put that there. And then I'll put the balance here on what is to pack. When I got there today, he had one diaper shell left. So he needs three, so I'm packing him two more for tomorrow. So I'll put those in his backpack. And then just whatever reminders for the week. I find this super helpful because at the end of the day, after I've been at work, I my brain just like doesn't really work anymore and regular math or remembering things becomes so hard for me. And then when I am packing all his stuff, I can just go down the line and be like, okay, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Okay, so this is the last part of our command center. It's like right by the door. This is where we keep all of our keys. And then the dog leashes, I thought this was really cute. And um, I file our mail over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments how you like to keep organized, especially with your daily lives, or if you have a lot of dogs and a lot of babies, it can get really crazy. Give me suggestions if you want. I love this stuff. I get a little bit crazy with the organization, but I love this stuff. I think it's super helpful because I basically don't have to think when I get home, and that is how I like to keep it. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. There's a button up there. If you want to see my last video, you can click here. If you want to see more mom stuff, you can click here in this area. And if you're using your phone and you can't click on things, you can tap the I button in the top right hand corner. And I should have put some videos in there for you to, to check out if you want. Alright, it's been real. See you guys next time. Bye!